Right, this is just a really quick video for a gent called Emmett. Um, he lives in Ireland and has bought himself a Tupney. So you can see it's an MPU4. We've got a housing that lives on the top of it. That housing's controlled by two of these little things here. So they slide and once you slid them, the top will just lift off and you'll be able to see inside it. As you can see, I flywired this one. So you can just see there where it has in the past had a bit of corrosion and I've had to clean it or it's been cleaned. Um, you do that with one of these things. So I'll show you. That's a fiberglass pencil. You can use a fine sandpaper, depends on what you prefer. Um, these are cleaner, definitely. So all you literally do is you just go over the area and you just scrape away all of the corrosion from the top of them. Um, and that's pretty much it, to be honest with you. So in terms of the fly wiring, you'll see on the back of the board. In fact, we'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just take this off first. So that plug... Uh, so you see the back of the board and see this one's really really clean and all I've done is used I've used a through hole basically then in the board to be able to put my wire out of the way it's got 2.4 volt battery sat on there and then obviously you've got two of your wires going to one side and you've got one going to the other if you flip the board back over you're really just repeating what's there. It's not particularly difficult, so just plus to plus, minus to minus. So um, most of you, most of the, in fact, just about all the two point four volt batteries will come with little prongs on them anyway, so you'd know where you're putting them. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There's not actually a lot to this, to be honest with you. This area, incidentally, here, so this area that goes bad, it's generally the payout area. Of this, so I've had a, I've had a couple of these. And uh, one of the symptoms on MPU4s when these are started to go bad uh, because they, ge they generate, when you've got corrosion in this area or any area at all, it creates resistance so stuff doesn't behave quite as it should do even if the track's still in intact. Potentially one of the symptoms you would get is a solenoid firing uh, when you turn on some MPU4s it'll fire out a 20p. Um, if you've cleaned the corrosion off, that'll settle down and it does generally stop doing it. But yeah, that, that's kind of it. Uh, there's not a great deal to this, just to show that yes, it can be fly wired. Um, I would recommend it and then say cleaning area all around this area here with all those transistors in there, resistors, diodes. This area tends to get quite heavily corroded on the bad ones and that tends to be where they go. Also goes underneath the chips nearby, um, but the acid does it moves a lot, um, the vapors, and it just attaches to anything and starts eating away at it. Uh, the best way I've found of cleaning them is either using a little bottle of this stuff, which is called IPA, um, and generally one of them, yeah, bud, and just literally dip it in. And then just just clean the area around it, and then you can just dry the IPA off again with the other side if you really want to. But that'll get rid of a lot of the dirt and corrosion. And then say get um, a fiberglass pencil if you want to cover up the traces afterwards. So you can cover up the traces. Um, I've bought some of the stuff that hardens the actual the green stuff that Matt uses. I forget what it's bloody called, but uh, you can use that. Um, you can also use this, it just works just as effectively. You can use a bit of clear nail varnish and just clear it over. Um, so you can go over the top of it. I do that quite a lot, to be honest with you. This is a particularly clean board, um, obviously like a fully working one. But yeah, anyway, if that helps anybody, that's good. Um, I've always have a look when you pick up a machine. Like always have a look at that area because that area is notorious for bad on MPU4s. And these boards are not cheap anymore. You know they are very very expensive to buy. Um, and if you want to save yourself the money, hassle, and all the other stuff, just get it open as soon as you get it and just check it all over. Give it a clean. Uh, remove the battery regardless. So fly wire it if you're capable, or get somebody who is capable to just do it for you. Uh, it's not a particularly tough job. Anyway, enjoy.